welcome to Manuel Samuel. Um, for some reason there's already a slave slot in this. I delete this. I don't even know. I don't even fucking know why that's there. It's because I think I'm accidentally started a new game and somehow saved. Uh, so we're gonna start this game. Apparently, it's kind of a ragdoll physics game. Sorry, bro. New game. Alright, guys, here we go. Our story begins in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier called Sam... Oh, uh, we're not doing that? Eh? Yeah. Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. Mocha Sapet. I can't. Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Literally? But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon. That uh, represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his kid. parents. And their butlers. And their butler's parents. Jeez. You're a douche, aren't you, Sam? <laughs> yes. Blink twice if yes. Here. This is Sam's girlfriend. Also not being heard by Looks Sam. Looks like a man. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, produced by his large wealth. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third <laughs> year in a row. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine then, or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Dump him. Oh shit! Are you sure this is a fractured jawbone? Cause his face is bleeding. Sam is his laying eyes unconscious are all, like, on the floor. Right around it. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. Jesus! Sam is hit in the head so hard he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Oh. Good job, Sam. You're very good at existing. How dare you startle my child? An overprotective Stupid ass fucking pearls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly That's what you to call regain his a vision. Stupid mom. Say something, Harold. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. How is our son going to become a respected politician if he can't fend for Sam pays the guy 500 euros. Euros? Barely covering the coffee. The Thanks for the tip, douchebag. What? How am I a douchebag? Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Eh. Uh. Sam is hurling stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. It's about to spend his whole weekly allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. Dude, he has a bunch of he weekly really allowance. Was hit hard in the head. Holy feces. feces. I'll just start my own coffee shop. That's cool. Once Take again, Sam makes someone quit their job by tipping them too much. So long, suckers. <laughs> Sam spends a decade making his way out the door. Which is pretty good. As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. Oh, shit. This is when a septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The impact oh, renders him eight types of dead. Oh! Oh, 
Uh, I'm gonna skip this. Who cares who worked on the game? Just skip to the action. <laughs> Good. Who knew a bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam? But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. <laughs> There's also the ground in hell. Oh shit, we're in fucking hell. Come on, Sam. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Then, he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. He checks out that horrible sound he's hearing. The source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction, the end, decease and demise, the grim reaper, death. He's trying to do a kickflip on a that, skateboard the and is dressed like a douchebag that? for some reason. In his coarse, horrifying voice, he lays this on Sam. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the info I was provided. Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. Holy feces, dude! Your Say soul shit. be like a diamond! Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. <sighs> For reals? Aight, man, it decided. The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency, followed by quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. If you give me your shreds, I'll resurrect your face and get you out of Hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Sam decides to check out the rest of Hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll Mario. be all your tricks, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Uh -huh. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. For most people, this is okay. But for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his bag. shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a minesweeper. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Could be worse. Whatever. Kinda sounds fun. <laughs> Why, hello there, dear sir. He keeps the last shred for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell. Whenever that's going to be. Hehe. <laughs> I, bro. I only get to do these deals annually. But if you really want to live in biz... You have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. Psh. Okay. Wait, wait. First, I have to do this. Mic test. Mic test. Yeah. yeah. Alright, it's good. Sam just traveled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. Jesus, this he looks like shit. is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, yeah, you look horrible. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you hear me? Why am I red? Um, blink not twice red. if My yes. eyes are red. My I'm turning purple. Oh, I can blink oh, now. Cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. Why am I turning blue? Right, so this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kind of blue. Jesus, you might want to consider breathing. 
How do I? How do I? Oh. All right, bitchin. You be blinking and breathing. Bitchin. Bitchin. So, all right. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if in you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. Um... <clears throat> And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude, oh. you be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Sam holds on to that toothbrush like his life depends on it. Every day I brush, 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 brush. It's actually really funny. Clean teeth! With clean teeth, Sam is ready to smile. He won't for at least 24 hours, though. Sam underestimates the importance of air in his lungs. Damn, Sam. Sam tries out a strange maneuver by stepping with the same leg twice. Sam tries to take a leap. Oh, shit! No! Hey, dude, have you seen my... Oh. Uh... Urine. Sam takes a leak everywhere, including, but not limited to, himself. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. It's one empty bladder later, Sam moves on. Yeah, I'm fucking covered in piss. Shower time. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks like a mantis that's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. Your spine, Sam. It matters. Sam is clean Yay. as a whistle. Good job, Sam. Cut up like every once in a while, guys. And clean breathe. and empty. Sam decides to find some clues. Friggin' skateboard. Hi, right, let's see. He has to use his opposite leg to get up again. Hi, let's see. Sam can open doors now. Clever boy. Sam enters his wardrobe. What will he wear today? He picks a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. Sam successfully puts on his pants. Feeling more accomplished than ever, he proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do. He settles for a mediocre one. Hum. R1, L1. Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He's not. He puts on his shoes, living the dream of having shoes on. <sighs> No, no, fuck.
Sam walks down the stairs with great precision. We did it. Flappy Rooster is Sam's favorite game. I want to play. No time for playing with a Flappy Rooster right now, though. I want to play. What the shit? Okay, that's good. Me. Okay, that's cool. Have fun. That was either supposed to or not supposed to happen. We'll never know. Following this story at this time, and gang wars are still an escalating problem at Bridge Street, where the police are struggling to regain control. Commuters are advised to... Hey, Lucy, I'm home. Oh, hey, dude. Still alive, huh? Mm. <sighs> there is a note saying, sent over a maid to make you breakfast. Don't breathe in while chewing. Love, Mom. Eat it, Sam. Eat your food, Sam. Come on, Sam. Sam finishes his food like the big boy he is. Good job, Sam. You're impressing no one, Sam. Blink, Sam, blink! Coffee. Sam decides to try his luck on some coffee drinking. Sam's coffee is so hot, he blows on it before taking a sip. Oh. Sam drops the coffee. Dramatically. With some coffee oh, okay. in the system, Sam finds it easier to exist. Okay, let's go. He finally makes it out the front door, beaten, terrified, stupid. Dude, I am totally gonna kick flip over your car. Don't you dare. Oh, what the fuck did you do, you fucking dumbass? Floppy Rooster! Dude, it was like that when I got there. You might want to get that hood fixed. It, it'd be loose. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just get in the car. Okay. Let's go, Sam. Oh, shit. Are we gonna hit the fucking bird? Please, don't hit the fucking bird. Hey, dude, I turned your automatic gearbox into a manual one for the fun. That be ironic or what? At this Why? point, Sam notices that Dev isn't really a nice guy. Well, neither is him. The stick, huh? <laughs> Alright, so, when starting the car, you want to press down the clutch pedal. Nobody has clutched anything for years. What is that? Good luck, Sam. All right, there. The clutch is the now, this one. While you have the clutch down, press the gas pedal. Okay, that's the As gas you pedal. Let go of the clutch, the car will start moving in bits. Good job, dude. Is that really how you drive a clutch? Is that really how you really drive a stick? Mean? Now, to stop, you gotta move your right foot to the brake pedal. Left for us, he means. And obviously, press it down. 
Give stopping a go, dude. Nice. Now, start driving again, like I showed you. And obviously, you turn left and right with your arm. Yeah, I drove. If you want to drive faster, you gotta use the stick, baby. To upshift, okay. you press down the clutch and then yank the stick. <laughs> so, clutch and then. Obviously, you can't turn left with your hand gear. on the stick. So to turn left, you have to move okay, your we're in fifth hand gear right now. to the steering wheel, y'all. And so, Sam and the Lord of Damnation are on their merry way towards a new adventure, together, cozy. Dude, there be an old lady on the road. Fuck off. Yo, go <gasps> we almost killed that lady. She ain't due for another... A few hours. Listen, if you Not kill just horrible. somebody Come before on. their time because I messed up your motoring skills, I will be in deep feces, okay? So keep your eyes on the road. If you almost kill someone, I'll stop the car, yo. But then, you'll have to start it all over again with the clutching biz, right? Well, I know how to, to do go. the clutching biz. Anyway, dude, you're probably wondering why okay, let's slow down. this biz be happened. To tell you the truth, bro, it be all part all right, of I just want to kind of. Okay, I'm probably gonna slow down if it goes too fast. The life you give to those gatekeepers to get into hell, yeah, they be distributed between the bank of hell and Satan. Oh yeah, dude, the big S. Go left. Ah! Oh. Anyway. oh yeah, dude, the big S. Then. Bank of Hell distributes their share as salary among the citizens of Hell. Do you know how much my salary be? A little less than a burger flipper at Mickey Demons, yo, and a little more than an elementary school teacher. You know what I be saying? Up high. Of course, so slow. A soul has one, maybe two shreds on him, depending on his life quality. And I don't want to point fingers, but someone here... Be right, yo, close one! As I was saying. And I don't want to point fingers, but someone here be a spoiled brat, bro. Dude, you had seven shreds! You have any idea how rare that be? I be scamming, I mean making deals with bratty souls that have more than two shreds of life for an eternity, yo. And I only got that. Shit. Fuck, I was not paying attention. Get out of the road, friggin' hag! Hey, Jesus, Death. And I only got 295 shreds of life, bro. <laughs> Boom! Death for life! Let's go! Death for life left! Oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, skeletons FT dub! <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Death for life! Is this how you actually drive a clutch? What be that gray cloud in the middle of the road? A storm? Oh, feces! That be a whole school of old ladies! Get ready! Right! Ah! Uh, left! Uh, ah! Right! Ah! Uh, left! Uh, ah! Uh, Yo! Ah! What be up with all those old ladies today, bro? Hey, Sam. You're never gonna make it to work on time with all these grannies everywhere, dude. What do you say we take a shortcut? <laughs> Left. Left, yo! 
And so Sam drives the car to a place he has never been before. A place called Bridge Street. Come on, put on the clutch. Oh, 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 dude. I hope it be safe here. Hope there be no, say, crazy gang members here or nothing. No. no really, though. We're being crazy gang members. Oh, crazy gang members. Oh, excuse me. You be a crazy gang member? Dude, don't you worry. I know where the crazy gang members be. To Death's surprise and Sam's relief, the gang members are lying dead on the ground. This Going is when fast. Death notices a distinct silhouette in the distance. What be the deal, bro? Why be, Why be there? Oh, the silhouette is contention and enmity, bloodshed and hostility, strife and strike, struggle, well, who is it? battle, war. She is the neither shit. wearing dumb clothes nor doing kickflips. She is just standing there after a job well done. She's it. Oh, holy feces, holy feces, it be her. I'll be my breath. Horrible. Be cool. You be cool. Okay, just don't be yourself. Hey, war, how it be going, babe? Wanna hitch a ride in these sweet wheels? I tell the one that can to kill, but will to get me well. I fast rise the face to kill the dog to slip it at all. I kill the one. Oh, holy feasty, here she comes. The human body with a skeleton hey, face? That's girl. weird. Where to? Just shut up and take me to the metro. Aren't you supposed to, like, reap a bunch of people, you knucklehead? I was, I was. But then I got bored, so now I hang out with my buddy Sammy here. Ain't it right, Sammy? Stop here. Oh my lord! Okay, we can go. What's wrong with you? So instead of guiding endless amounts of confused souls to the afterlife, you waste time with this dumb, ugly mortal. Stop here. Jesus! Okay, we can go. Yeah. Hey, hey, you want a cigarette? Uh, you are so annoying. You know I'm trying to quit. <sighs> Fine. Give me one. I hate you. Go right here. Stop here. Why do you kill people? Okay. We can go. As Death would say, the clutch hey, in this. guess what? I totally landed a kickflip today. Take a left. Stop here. Hey, what's a fucking tail of this bitch? Okay, let's go. Wow, you really landed a kickflip? That's kind of hot. Yeah, or, well, I almost landed a kickflip. <laughs> you know, famine can do a frontside kickflip. Stop here. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, dang it, the grandma's be bad. Right. Stop here. This is where I get off. Hi, babe. I see you around. Whatever. <sighs> Sad dad. What you be looking at? Nothing. Oh snap! You be getting late for work, bro. Step on it as hard as you can if we gonna make it. Go, go, go! Faster, faster! 
Yo, Let's dude, go, you little faster. Bitch. Yo, faster, faster. Faster, dude. Get up to fifth gear. Yo, faster, faster. Faster, dude. Get up to fifth gear. Faster, faster. Yo, dude, faster. Yo, faster, faster. Yo, faster, faster. Almost fast enough, dude. Step on it. Almost fast enough, dude. Step on it. <laughs> oh, feces. Stop, stop. Uh. What was that? I was like, oh. Uh. Feces. Did we kill somebody? Sam goes out the door to see what happens. He only has to follow Death's crying voice. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this guy wasn't due. He wasn't due. What be I gonna do? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Sam, can I borrow your last shred of life? Blink twice if yes. <gasps> All right. Yo, 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 let's do a deal that we can steal, yada, yada, yada. Uh, slap your salmon 57 times in 24 hours, or you'll be dead forever. Now, get out of here. <laughs> I just had to. Anyway, let's get out of here. Weird. It's another busy day in Robocorp Inc where they produce automatic robots for fun, convenience, and most importantly, safety. Finally, Sam makes it to work, and only by having the most terrifying morning of his life. He waggles towards the entrance, still shaky after the events of his trip. Oh. Faces. My nose off in a laser accident? They gave me a robot nose. <laughs> and fuck? guess what? It can shoot lasers! Ah, uh, <laughs> Robocorp's proudest and newest invention, the MaidBot. It is rumored to have over 3,000 functions, including pest control, rest control, and guest control. And it can make you a nice cup of coffee. You're spying, Sam. You're fine. For the seven billionth time, Sam has lost the key card to his office and has to request a new one from reception. Sam focuses all his brain energy on trying to speak well-formulated sentences. Uh, oh, hello, shit. Mr. Samuel. How can I help you? I... I... Uh, uh, I... I... Uh, Mm. Very good, sir. And uh, was there anything else? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you are a wordsmith, Sam. Of oh, course, sir. Try not to lose it again. Sam takes the card and heads for his office. Yes, Sam. Do the splits. The elevator is occupied. Sam has no time for waiting. He wants to get around to doing nothing as... And then he meets his old nemesis. Stairs. Sam goes in the third door to his office area. Yeah, it is a dangerous job, but the health benefits are awesome, dude! I blew off my leg in a laser act. This is Ingrid, Sam's secretary. 
Since Sam never gets any calls or does any actual work, Ingrid has a level 80 warrior in every game ever made. About time, Samuel. Sam's office. A waste of space, according to everyone ever. Sam doesn't do much at work, simply because his father doesn't let him. According to Samuel, he more. only has to show up, shut up, and not mess up. This gives Sam plenty of time to sharpen his skills on his favorite game, Flappy Rooster. Yes, he has one here too. Sam decides to try and beat his record of 10,000 points. God, I'm not something until I have coffee. Is a picture of Sam fruit doing there? Someone knocks on Sam's door. It is Ingrid. Uh, Mr. Samuel, Mr. Welfenberg wants to speak with you. Also known as Samuel Senior. Uh, Sam's okay. dad. He seems kind of angry. Take the elevator to his office. The, ac the accent, though. Why the fuck is there a bra on there? We've seen Sam do weirder things. The soothing elevator music sets the mood for productivity and not asking questions. All of Sam's interactions with his old man have lately been reduced to short meetings in his office. Oh my god, it's fucking Flappy Rooster! This is Samuel Sr. Hi, he owns Dad. Robocorp. <laughs> and he is tired of the fact that Sam is always late to work. Sam is keeping the morale of his company down, and it is time for him to work for his money. No more fancy offices. You are starting at the bottom. Today, you start oh, as a lithium shit. inserter in the storage room. Go down to the basement and get to work. Well, Dad. Nice talking to you, too. Come on, Sam. Yeah? My text? Why? Lafidium is a ridiculously rare material packed with energy. It is the key ingredient to the success I have two the robots texts. in Robocorp Inc. Its energy is measured in consciousness, and even just a little bit of the stuff could do wonders for artificial intelligence. Yeah, I got your text. Despite all his efforts, Sam ends up working for the first time in his life. At least he's alive. Okay. Sam's job is ridiculously simple. He has to pull the lever so a chunk of lithidium comes down. Sorry, it doesn't close. I tried already. Then he has to put. What? Wh it doesn't close! Dad! The Thank required you. amount of lithidium in a robot slot. Dude, your dad couldn't have picked a worse day to make you work with this stuff. I guess we'll be back in hell in no time. Gonna do a kickflip now. So you said in the house, but you couldn't do it. Friggin' skateboard. Yeah, blame it on the skateboard, Dad. Alright, let's see. 
Touch my body, bend my knees. Oh, what I be doing wrong, yo? Everything. Sam figures out how to open an automatic door. Impressive, Sam. Gonna do a kickflip now. Nah. Wait, what? Oh, I have to grab the liquid shit. Oh, when I was on the time. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Catch an air and breath. Catch all my fucking shit. Come on, Sammy. Hurry up. Come on, Sammy boy. Sam, you're spying, do Sam. Flip now. Friggin' skateboard. Ah, let's see. I blink. You know? What I be doing wrong, yo? Let's see. Yeah! Yeah! Now. Nah. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. Yo, he I don't get it. To blink. Totally kickflip over that box. Death says, having never actually landed a kickflip in his entire existence. Yeah. Death manages to spill lithidium all over every robot in the You basement. don't fuck! Oh shit. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no! No! Sam! What are we gonna do, yo? Every robot what are you in the gonna basement do about gets it? too conscious and escapes. Sam has to get out of work ASAP. And this time, with a good excuse. Don't you see, you doorknob? I was directly involved in waking those things to life. Sam decides to take a last sip of water be before his demise. Feces. But wait, it looks like Sam has a plan. Wait, wait. What? Sam, Sam short circuits the door. He will live to breathe manually another day. Gosh darn it, you'd be right, you beautiful son of a lemur. Blink, Sam. Oh, I can't Blink. see. It's getting kind of hard to see. Yeah, that be what I be talking about, dude. We are in deep feces, fellas. Someone exposed the robots to too much... Sam has to fight a bunch of robots in a manual suit. Also, the best thing ever happened. And you totally missed it. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. Yep. Strange. Those robots Holy shit. Hurt somebody. Old death is pointing away. Sam don't stop to ask why. 
Oh my god, this is so cool, dude. Oh, what the feces! Shoot it, shoot it two more times, bro. The fuck out first. Gun kind of sucks. Sam turns that door into toothpicks. He's packing heat. Good, just death on the back. Oh, for feces' sake! Another Missile? door. Just some Sam blasts through the door. He's done messing around. Gosh darn it! That be a door we can't blow through. Throw me behind it so I can open it up. Okay, so I want to I he hurls death without blinking. His only amigo. He has to breathe manually while his friend is gone. He rejoins his day-long friend. It's a touch and reunion. Oh. Robot. Sam takes out the first robot like he's taking out the trash. He encounters a running fella. He pops some good. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. He encounters one of them old blue bots. Got a chuck old death out. Oh shit. What if I just No, Brett. Oh God, that was horrible. Big old fella pops up in front of Sam. him up like he's getting paid for it. Paid in pain. Probably made that out. Oh, death. Wait, 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 I ain't ready. I <laughs> you see how I beat that guy up? <laughs> Okay. Sam needs to use his shield more. Oh shit. I'm broken. All right, dude. Good to go. He throws a few rounds at Tony's Cafe. Like the good old days. My coffee shop. You blew it up. Oh, what's this dude? 
You know what would be cool? If you threw cars around. My mind. I changed my mind. Sam needs to use his shield more. All right, dude. Good to go. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't ready. Runner butts are sharp like a straight razor. Gotta pop them before they come too close. for what he did, so he up chucks a little bit and feels a lot better. End of the trail, and the orphanage is still standing. Is that Maybe the a good little day time? after all. Say the orphanage. Dead kids. Oh, we lucky. But then, the wind turns. <gasps> There's one last robot needing to be taken care of. Oh, shit, that's scary. maid box. Fuck the maid box. Faces, dude. Hold on to your flappy rooster. Uh, the fuck? You gotta watch out for them there missiles. Good old mines start ticking down. Sam gotta think fast. Jeez, dude. Focus. Starts dropping presents. Jeez, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got a good dude. Flappy Rooster? Oh shit. Finish her off, dude. Do it. 
Fucked up. Oh, shit. You found this out. Oh, shit, this time. 300 orphans go to heaven, which is a totally nice place, by the way. But death, he caused Satan at least 300 shreds of life. He ain't gonna be happy. And Sam, well, he's got a lot on his mind right about yeah. now. Oh god, those fucking poor kids, dude. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. Anyway, let's continue the story, shall we? <laughs> oh, feces! I have to disappear forever before he finds me. Just got to do one thing first. Death has risked a meeting with the one he's trying to avoid for one simple item. The Skatemate 3000. Super easy to do kickflips with. Oh, I'll be so close. I can almost taste the kickflips. <clears throat> but then he arrives. <gasps> Satan. The angel of darkness. The evil spirit. Mephistopheles. Lucifer. The Lucifer. king of hell. Beelzebub. Dude, shit. Oh, Satan. That wasn't shit. Hey, I, I didn't. I wasn't. <laughs> what you be up to, bro? Oh. So fucking huge. You know. Satan things. Busy, busy, busy. 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 Like a fly. <laughs> That's a. Uh, yep. Uh, good one. <laughs> so, I hear you've killed 300 hairless apes. Kill, I did. <coughs> I was passing by while it happened, yes, but. <coughs> and they were too young to sin. So, they aren't even coming to hell. I can pay you back. And where did you get 300 shreds <laughs> if you didn't steal them from me? Uh, we get the jobs. <laughs> you are in deep feces. I was gonna say deep shit. Because it looks like Satan doesn't play around, but he's just a feces like. Say the fucking I mean, like like that 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 Meanwhile, that you said Sam shit. is trying to pull himself out of deep feces. There are only a few hours left to his curse. This curse will be gone in a little bit. Go home, I guess. Tommy boy. No, Sam, get up. Shut up, chicken. I'm joking. <gasps> Shit, I'm up to climb the stairs.
Let's go to bed. Sleep it off. Right as Sam is about to go to bed, she arrives. War. Oh shit, it was Can war you again. Can that idiot? He went ahead and got himself thrown in hell jail, so now I have to be both death and war. That's double shifts and no extra pay. <sighs> anyway, it says here that you were supposed to die almost 24 hours ago. Sam tries to say something along the lines of, No, no, please don't. This is no fun. This is no fun. But his lack of competence in the art of speaking manually only results in this happening. No! Asshole! Once again, Sam is in hell. Come on, I'm supposed to take you to the gate. You fucking bitch! I was not supposed to die! Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be, ooh, the son of the CEO of a huge company. Just you like get your own office. Oh shit, this is weird. Just like fucking. Rooster all day. Just like uh, real life. All your shreds, dear sir. Sam remembers that he has none left. Oh, fucking oh, death. Took no a fucking last life. shred. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but this means you have to go to hell jail. Guards! <laughs> have a nice day. Oh, no shreds, eh? Well, it can happen to the best of us, mate. Let's take you to hell jail then, shall we? Such fun. Uh, take all your concern-related concerns up with upper management. What's your favorite movie, mate? Mine is It's a Wonderful Life. Oh. There you go, mate. Hope you will have a good time. Well, let's bring him some food. Take all concern-related concerns up with upper management. Hey, this isn't actually that bad. And there I mean, they he actually give you like a real pad. Death. Yo, yo, yo! And it isn't on the pressing. Oh, you came to save me! Oh. No, you'd surely be a bro, bro. So, <sighs> what be the plan? I don't fucking know. Dude, dude, that'd be hardcore. But I suppose that'd be the only yeah, way. What I'm trying to do right. is such when hardcore. The comes back, I'll rip him in half and put you inside. What the fuck? You should be able to control him with your manual powers. How? Here he comes. Uh, do you like strawberry or chocolate cupcakes, mate? Chocolate, I'll please. Them, just because. <laughs> bro, I, I don't want yeah, to do that worked, poor guy. Bro. I crush these bombs and then get your butt to the spot where we met for the first time. We be getting out of here, yo. As the still warm insides of the guards squeeze against Sam's skin, he thinks about how lucky he is to be rich, so he can pay for all the hours of therapy. <laughs> how about we get you back to jail? <laughs> Sam violently kills a guard. <laughs> He'll just be reborn as a demon anyway. Of course, so Sam's I'm a demon. <laughs> Sam slays another guard, crazy and desperate. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Stay away, stay away. And there goes another one. You're not being very nice right now, dear sir. Ow! I'm very sorry, sir, but... This goes on for a while. Let's just see what happens. You are not being uh. very nice right now, dear sir. So does his foe. <laughs> How about we get you back to jail? <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, I'm out of here. You made it. All right. Let me just open up a portal. Oh, snap. Silly, <gasps> oh, shit. Ape. I'll make your pain beyond. Time to mention those concern-related concerns, Sam. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Ow! Am I supposed to block? <laughs> hey! Um, I... Oh. 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 oh, oh, you can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. <laughs> Yeah, I, I am. Keep fucking failing on that last part. <laughs> I fucking hate you, Satan. Piece of shit. This is intense, actually. 
Throw up, throw up, come on, Sam, throw up already. Get away from me. Stay away from me. What the fuck? Shit. The shit. Ugh. Fucking How 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 the fuck are you do this? Fuck, 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 fuck. It's the last one, I swear to Christ it is. Okay, I think we did it. I, I mean, die Never mind, I think we failed. I think it's Death, not death. Death! He saves us. You learned the kickflip too. Woohoo! Did anyone see that? Holy feces. Did death just do De a kickflip? Okay, never mind. That did not. Satan is distracted. Sam grabs the opportunity and grabs Satan's sword. How did he do that? Huh? I can Ouch! What the feces, that love you. dude? Oh, sorry, dude. No I offense, love you. but you were being kind of a douche. Take me to a gosh darn hell hospital. Oh, uh, okay, dude. Oh, thanks for everything, Sammy. Of course you get to live again. I will even grant you one final wish. Sam looks up to the sky and wishes that the 300 orphans came back to life, safe and sound. Not that heaven is a bad place to be. But, 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 but that's 300 orphans and 300 shreds. I've been saving up for an eternity. Oh, fine. And so Sam gets resurrected for the last time. Our story ends in the middle of last Wednesday. We're a sort of hopeful young man named Sam is about to make amends with his girlfriend. Whoa, you showed up on time for once.
Huh? It's called Manual Samuel. Yeah. Let me see that. Alright. Wait, wait, what are we doing? Why are we getting up early? Ah. Uh, can I, can I love you? Bye guys, I'll see you later.